Good morning. Learning Telecommunications by Simulation is a downloadable ebook that is the complete integrated telecommunications course covering analog, digital, and data concepts. The course contains text, coded examples, and instructional videos. All you need is a personal computer running either Windows, Mac, or Linux with at least 750 megabytes of disk space. The course requires you to download two free open source math programs called Psychoslab and Modnum. That's it. Everything is done on your PC. In a traditional technology or engineering program, telecommunications is typically taught in a series of courses. One separate course for analog, one course for digital, and one course for data. Since the equations describing the various types of signals are exactly the same for either analog or digital, it makes more sense to do both analog, digital, and data all at the same time to link in the concepts and reinforce each other. The course starts at baseband, then covers a superheterodyne process and modulation techniques such as AM, FM, PM, QAM, OFDM, and CDMA. The major focus in the course is for wireless, but the principles are the same for wired communications as well. Each chapter covers analog, digital, and data concepts. Real-world signal captures are presented as well to show that there is no difference between the simulations and the real signals. So let's look at uh, let's look at our, our ebook. Uh, there's a cover page of the ebook, and um, let's just go to um, the table of contents here. So we start off uh, in the ebook with an introduction, and then we talk about the open source tools, where we get them, uh, and what they are. In chapter three, we look at how we classify telecommunication signals, sort of an overview. In Chapter 4, we look at the baseband, and this is uh, the natural source of telecommunication signals, let's say for coming from a microphone or coming from a computer. These are the signals before they're mixed or modulated in any way. In Chapter 5, we look at the superheterodyne process, whereby we take a signal and we bump it up to a higher frequency, higher frequency so we can transmit it as a wireless signal. Chapter 6, we look at traditional amplitude modulation, but we look at AM, analog, and digital as well. Chapter 7, we look at traditional frequency modulation, or FM, and again we look at AM and digital. Chapter 8, we look at quadrature amplitude modulation, which is very popular, and OFDM, which forms the basis of most modern signals, both wired and wireless. And finally, in Chapter 9, we look at uh, channel modeling, and in channel modeling, we look at a complete channel consisting of a transmitter, a receiver, and a noise source, and how the performance varies. Uh, Let's just look at the format of a typical chapter. So let's go into uh, chapter two. Uh, if we go to um, this link here, you'll see that it's highlighted. And if I click on it, it'll take me to Psychos Lab. And that's where we can get our software. OK, so if we go to the download here. Uh, this is the math program that we use uh, for this particular course. It's free. It's a very powerful program. Psychos Lab is the underlying package. And Psychos is the graphical interface that runs on top of it. To get the actual e-course, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Psychos, and they have a separate site. There we go. There's the Psychos site. That's the graphical interface that runs on Psychos Lab. And you can see down here that there's Learn Telecommunications by Simulation. And right here is where you get the free course. If you click on there, uh, you pick up the course. OK, so that's. Um, You'll also need the Modnum Toolbox. So if I click on here, it'll take you to the page where we can get the Modnum Toolbox. And there it is, Modnum 4.2.2. Uh, that's it there. Let's look at a typical chapter just to see how the course is laid out. So let's look at Chapter 4, for instance. Uh, that's the chapter on baseband signals. So when you mouse over any of these graphics, each one of these things has a graphics file behind it. So for instance, in this diagram here, if I click on it, I'll see a bigger version of the diagram. So there we go there. There's a bigger version of the diagram. If I click on this one, I'll see a bigger version of the diagram. To uh, describe these particular signals, uh, I'm going to use several concepts. One of them is I'm going to build the signal mathematically in a script file. If I click on there, I'll get the script file opening up in the software. And if I click on there, I'll get the, the graphical equivalent opening up in Psychos. 
uh, Cycos, basically you, you've got a toolbox and you can put uh, scopes and, and signals and spectrum analyzers and everything all together. It's very, very easy and you're a very powerful way of looking at signals. Each one of these chapters has an ex explanatory video. So here we go. Uh, there's the introduction video to the chapter. So if I click on there, uh, what you'll see is the video for that particular chapter opening up. Uh, you may have to allow various permissions to see the video in your particular in this chapter there we go there's the video okay so that's basically how it works now for every simulation in there I've got a section where we actually see real-world signals I call them sig caps or signal captures so here we have some signal captures so the purpose of the signal capture is to show you that when we've built something in software uh, the real signal looks exactly the same. So if you click on there, what you'll see is a video of the signal capture. Okay, so we should be seeing that in a second. There we go. Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to look at baseband signals and we're going to look at analog baseband signals. So we're going to look so there at we two see simple signals. The first signal we're going some to look real, at is real sine signals. Wave coming from a sine wave. I'll just close that down. So that's basically the way the chapters are organized. We talk about um, a particular type of signal, like a baseband signal or a modulated signal. We build it in software. Okay. Um, we build it two ways in software. We write the equation for it uh, in a script file. and We also put blocks together, which is very, very easy. So in both ways, uh, we build the signal. And then what we do is we actually look at a real signal to make sure that what we've built simulates accurately what we see in the real world. So that's basically the course and um, as I say it's a free download from psychos.org and uh, the course is designed uh, for anyone who's basically in the telecom business and wants to uh, learn more. Uh, it'd be ideal for ham radio operators, for shortwave listeners, it'll be ideal for technicians and technologists in the cell phone or wireless industries. Uh, to get a good handle on on these signals. When you have the, the uh, techniques to work with Psychos and Psychos Lab, you can build anything. You could build a Tetra system, you could build a P25 system, uh, you can see how it works with noise, you know, it's unlimited. It's like software mechano. You can build anything you want. So good luck and I hope you enjoy the course.